Toyota, the renowned automaker known for its relentless pursuit of innovation, is gearing up for what it believes will be a landmark paradigm shift. In a recent announcement, Toyota revealed its plans to enter the next generation of battery electric vehicles, marking a significant potential turning point for the company. Despite being the number one automotive manufacturer globally, Toyota has faced criticism for lagging behind in the electric vehicle race. However, this recent development showcases Toyota's determination to catch up and surpass innovative players like Tesla. The company believes it has found the key to accelerate its EV journey, an innovative new solid-state battery technology. Toyota's groundbreaking battery tech aims to leapfrog ahead, revolutionizing the EV landscape. However, by the time Toyota's revolutionary battery hits the market, Tesla's Elon Musk could be racing further ahead in the EV industry. While Toyota is striving to catch up, it's essential to consider that Elon Musk, the visionary behind Tesla, is a master of pushing the boundaries and constantly looking to the future. It's possible that Elon may be focusing on other transformative endeavors that could reshape the automotive landscape, potentially overshadowing and outpacing Toyota's battery advancements. And before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and have a look at our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and a brand new set of quarterly financial data going back up to 15 years on over 9,000 stocks, and it's all freely available. Toyota has pushed back heavily on electric vehicles in order to try and delay the inevitable. The company, which used to be at the forefront of automotive innovation, has lost its lead in the largest and highest growth segment of the auto market, electric vehicles. But they certainly haven't thrown in the towel yet. And that's why they've been lobbying policymakers in Washington and running ads for ICE vehicles in an attempt to slow down the rate of EV adoption in the hopes that they still have a chance to pull ahead. Toyota is investing heavily in various other technologies, including hybrid vehicles, where it indeed already leads, as well as hydrogen fuel cells, which we went into depth on in the previous video. But these are and will become fringe investments, whereas electric vehicles are at the core of this shift to a sustainable future. Toyota recognizes this, and they know that they need to become a major player in the EV space. And that's why they're aiming to take an alternate route in order to get there. Instead of competing head-on against Elon Musk and Tesla, a ship that they've already failed to board, they have no choice but to try and leapfrog Tesla in some other way. In this case, by getting ahead in battery technology for the next generation of electric vehicles. Toyota claims to have a breakthrough solid-state battery that will deliver extreme range and ultra-fast charging times. This would be a game-changer for the industry as it fills in some of the key gaps that EVs lack today. That said, Elon Musk doesn't seem to be too worried about what Toyota is planning as he has some plans of his own. Currently, Toyota says that its solid-state battery could deliver 745 miles of range, or almost 1,200 kilometers, accompanied by a mere 10-minute charging time for a vehicle containing this type of mileage. A solid-state battery is the holy grail of EVs, since it would replace the liquid or gel electrolyte found inside traditional lithium-ion batteries with a solid electrolyte material. This has many benefits, such as a higher safety profile, given that there's no chance of leakage, reducing the risk of thermal runway and fire hazards. The solid material would also allow for more energy to be stored in a smaller volume, increasing battery capacity as we see Toyota's long-range claim. Solid material is also less prone to degradation, which would expand cycle life and longevity of the battery, and also lead to faster charging times without breaking down the battery or causing it to overheat. And solid-state batteries also have better structural stability and resistance to thermal expansion and contraction, allowing them to operate at a wider temperature range, which is another universal issue with traditional lithium-ion batteries, which take a performance hit in cold or extreme temperatures. So a battery built on this technology would clearly be massive, if not a revolution for electric vehicles, and ultra lucrative for a company that could bring this to market, as Toyota says it can. According to the president of the Toyota Research and Development Center for Carbon Neutrality, Keiji Kaita, he says, 
For both our liquid and our solid state batteries, we're aiming to drastically change the situation where current batteries are too big, heavy, and expensive. In terms of potential, we will aim to have all of these factors. Now, Toyota's future in the EV space hinges to a great extent on the success and widespread adoption of this impressive technology, as it essentially holds the key to Toyota's ambitious comeback, promising exceptional performance and capabilities. However, despite its immense potential, there are a number of critical obstacles and challenges that must be navigated along the way, casting significant doubt about their ability to achieve this. Although Toyota is announcing today that their battery can bring 745 miles of range and 10 minute charging to their vehicle, they themselves are only planning to start bringing this into production around 2027 or 2028. That's four to five years away, and typically betting on any chemistry-related breakthroughs tend to take much longer than originally anticipated. A five-year time horizon is extremely vague for a completely novel kind of invention that doesn't adhere to some sort of known trend or curve. We can look at Tesla's 2020 Battery Day announcements, which occurred three years ago, where at that point they already had at least a partial prototype production line and they were essentially focusing on scaling that technology from close to zero production. Now just last month in June 2023, they achieved their 10 millionth 4680 battery cell from Giga Texas, which is a huge feat on its own and doesn't even include the 4680 cells produced at their original pilot facility on Cato Road, which would be incremental to this number, even though Giga Texas is meant to ultimately be designed to have a much higher capacity. But even at 10 million cells, with roughly 830 cells per Tesla Model Y, that's only a cumulative total supporting the creation of about 12,000 vehicles. That represents a small number of cars for both Tesla and Toyota, given these companies' overall production capabilities, even after over three years of production ramp-ups. Furthermore, Tesla hasn't even put in their entire technology suite, including multiple new inventions and chemistries used to increase the energy density of the battery cell that they unveiled at Battery Day in 2020. So this is an incredible accomplishment, and 4680 production will likely soar going forward given the engineering bottlenecks that have been overcome so far and the continued S-curve towards their factory's capacity. But there's still a long way to go in Tesla's 4680 ramp-up, in terms of magnitude and new technology, which demonstrates how much work it's taking to get to where they are today, but also how difficult it is to scale up a new technology. Tesla originally designed the 4680 specifically for manufacturability. They had experience with Panasonic, jointly developing the 2170 battery cell with them, and so their goal was to scale even faster. They started with lithium-ion chemistry, which is already a proven technology, and they're trying to scale it while adding in new technology into the mix along the way. Their first versions of the 4680 are basically nothing too different from a typical NCM battery chemistry that they use in their current vehicles, besides the casing and the form factor. Conversely, Toyota is starting with the chemistry first, and then trying to figure out how to scale it. One of the major problems with solid state batteries is that they can't make it out of the laboratory for this exact reason. Perhaps there's some sort of rare or expensive material being used, or maybe multiple processes that are intricate or take too long to deliver a viable yield necessary for taking such a battery to commercialization. Scale is the most important characteristic to optimize for, and it's the only thing Toyota doesn't really know how to do yet, regardless of whether they have a breakthrough battery or not. If they can't get it to customers, then it's fairly worthless, especially for a company that needs to make 10 million cars per year just to maintain their current market position. Curiously, we've also seen Toyota make solid state battery claims multiple times before. Sam Corris of ARK Invest notes that even back in 2017, Toyota's solid state batteries were just five years away, just as they are today. They were also five years away in 2014. The elusive nature of Toyota's projected release date has created a sense of perpetual delay, leaving us wondering if these batteries will ever truly materialize within a reasonable time frame. 
They've also always been kept behind closed doors, so there's no real sense of progress either. Now even hypothetically, if Toyota is onto something here, and solid state batteries are somehow guaranteed to be deployed by 2027, there are still some other considerations. Lithium ion batteries continue to advance very rapidly, especially as they navigate a very rapid cost decline curve. Solid state batteries could be better in every possible way, from energy density to charging speed, etc., but their cost could be prohibitively much higher. That's something that's often overlooked. Lithium ion would have years, decades of progress and production ahead of solid state, making them very cheap to produce with very reasonable energy density for the majority of the auto market and even the stationary battery storage market. Think Tesla's Megapack product. ARK Invest shows that the cost decline of battery technology is highly dependent on how much it can scale. And so that could potentially relegate solid state to be more niche, especially at the initial point when they first come online and they're much more expensive compared to the competition that's already out there. Tesla and other companies are in the midst of executing plans to vastly improve the energy density, charging speed, and other factors of lithium ion, making them still quite the force to be reckoned with even against a fundamentally better technology. Moreover, Elon Musk isn't dismissing solid-state battery technology even if nothing has come of it yet. He's likely also pointing his battery research divisions towards investigating solid-state technology. He's been asked before if the 4680 production line could support various types of battery technology such as solid state. And he said yes, with some tweaking. And so there are many startups and other players, not just Toyota, working on new types of battery technology. In the event that a promising technology emerges from a startup, Elon Musk has previously expressed his keen interest in exploring superior alternatives to what Tesla currently possesses. And Tesla has the resources and capability to acquire such a company and seamlessly incorporate its innovations into their own products. Now ultimately, it's important to acknowledge that batteries are still commodities. High energy density batteries are currently available for purchase today, yet their elevated costs impede scalability. Meanwhile, the industry at large is focusing on producing lower energy density batteries that are more cost effective. Fast forward to five years from now, even with moderate battery advancements, such as those outlined by Tesla at Battery Day in 2020, the range of electric vehicles will likely match, if not exceed, that of most internal combustion engine cars, if they're not already close to on par today. Consequently, it will become clear that batteries alone don't serve as a significant differentiating factor for vehicles. Instead, it's software that emerges as the pivotal element exerting a far greater influence on setting vehicles apart in the market. This phenomenon is reminiscent of the evolution in phones, where thinness and extended battery life are no longer as crucial as the actual functionality of the device. Hence, despite Toyota's aspirations, solid state batteries will not prove to be the silver bullet that they're longing for. So do you think Toyota will eventually be able to deliver a solid state battery? Are they relying excessively on unproven or underdeveloped chemistry to carry their EV business? potentially jeopardizing their entire company by banking on something that may take an extensive amount of time to become commercially viable. Don't forget to watch my last video on Toyota's new hydrogen factories. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. By joining us, your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.